Did you vote for Stephanie Byer? I did. I probably did, honestly. I voted all Democratic. Do you, you mind telling me who you voted for? Cindy. Okay, and why? Uh, Cindy came to our house. I think she represents um, the modern world that we're living in, the Kansas that we need to bring forward. Kansas is a very conservative state. Do you think Kansas is ready for a transgender politician? A hundred percent. Do you think Kansas is ready for a transgender politician? You know, anymore, I don't think it matters. What do you think matters? Well, being transgender doesn't. I'm Stephanie Byers. I'm a retired educator, and I am the Democratic candidate for the Kansas House of Representatives, District 86. Mostly it's a blue-collar district. There are people who sometimes feel that they're overlooked in the process of things, but they're people with big heart, and they're people who are, really want the best for themselves and for their families. Three, and... Over the 29 years of being here in Kansas as an educator, I watched as our state legislature and governors over the years would find themselves at a budgetary impasse and schools would take a hit. At the time I was teaching, I was a band and orchestra director and I didn't really have much time outside of my class to be able to stand up and say, hey, this isn't right. She retired and she was supposed to wait at least six months before deciding what to do and she only made it five at Wichita Pride's parade. My job was to drive Lieutenant Governor Rogers and his wife Chris through the parade. Next thing I know, uh, Lieutenant Governor Rogers and his wife are woodshedding different ideas of offices that I could run for. I think I made some comment that she'd be great as, as a, a legislator and my wife took off on that idea and she's trying to encourage women to be more participatory in government. I think between Lori and my wife, they did a lot to push Stephanie forward. A week later, I found myself standing outside the U.S. Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. on the same day they were hearing oral arguments on the Bostock versus Clayton County decision where they said that Title VII on the basics, basis of sex actually does include gender identity and it includes sexual orientation. And I'm standing there making the speech with the U.S. Supreme Court behind me and I thought, I'm really be given an opportunity here to do this. The Kansas Act Against Discrimination does not include sexual orientation, it doesn't include gender identity. And the only way that's going to change is by lawmakers. So this gives me a chance to use my voice where I can make a concrete difference for people. This really is a blue dot in the middle of a big red space. Some of the biggest challenges that we face in this campaign have come down to the things that have been thrown at us from the pandemic. With everything being shut down at the critical times uh, in the campaign, it's, it's been difficult to make those connections. My name is Stephanie Byers, I'm from the Kansas House, District 86, and I appreciate if you could vote for me. Those have been tremendous difficulties to try to overcome. When you don't have $50,000, $100,000 backing you, it's that one-on-one, -on -one, it's the getting there and talking to somebody. And so we've tried to make up for that the best we possibly can. I'm a trans person of Native American descent. Uh, if I'm elected to office, I will be the first trans person of color in a state legislature. I'll be the first trans person elected in the Midwest and in Kansas. There are currently only four trans legislators at any state in, in the United States. There are eight of us that are currently running for office that we'll see when Tuesday rolls around and we get through this, how many of us are ended up in a seat, but it can truly make a difference. For the longest time, Ponca Wee Victors was the only Native American legislator here. She's going to be joined by Christina Haswood, who is running unopposed, and I hope to be able to join them as somebody who is a descendant of Chickasaw. Uh, Stephanie Byers. That we can make a difference at the state level and represent those folks that sometimes their interests historically should have always been considered, but sometimes got pushed out. Get counted. It's a people's legislature. Uh, we need to have people that uh, have different perspectives. It's heavily business and retired white men. I'm anxious for her to serve. I think she'll bring a different perspective, one that represents Wichitans and folks that just haven't had a voice before. Late yesterday, the Trump administration completed a change to the Affordable Care Act, rolling back a policy that protected transgender patients from discrimination. The Trump administration has reversed an Obama administration policy that allowed transgender public school students to use whatever restroom they wanted. Most transgender troops would no longer be able to serve in the military. This national political climate we're under right now screams out for people to add their voices to it. 
We live in a time where our current presidential administration seems like they've actively worked to reduce the, the successes that we have seen over the last decade. I felt like I couldn't sit back anymore and not add my voice to those things. Hello, Wichita! We as Kansans know that we are about neighbor helping neighbor and about loving one another, any one of us. And this is how we do it. Vote as if your life depends on it, because it does. Stephanie's the bravest person I know. I think people underestimate the risk that she's taking uh, by putting herself out there. I've had a lot of people comment on how this shouldn't be about identity politics, but really all politics are kind of identity politics. It's about how much they can show of who they are and how they operate so that people go, yes, that's somebody that I can hire to represent me. Oh, cool. We have a Trump Pence person. Oh, my God. Let them have their couple of days. Uh. Right now, voters are in the final hours of making a monumental decision for this country about who will lead us through the next four years. What you see is a battleground that's just filled with states where Donald Trump's playing defense. Counting the votes will take some time. When you do marching band or concert band or orchestra, you can't be late, but oftentimes that means that you're in this rush, but nothing else is. Having this opportunity to be representative for the LGBT community and especially for people who are transgender, I think that that will be something that we will celebrate considerably because it's an inroad. Every election cycle since 2006, we've had one or more openly uh, lesbian or gay candidates on the ballot. Now it's time for the transgender community to have representation in Topeka. Got some uh, results in from Minnesota. Uh, not many actually. <laughs> Too early to call there. Wisconsin, it's going to be a long one. Hello. I saw on KSN they had 10% reporting and we were at 59. If I lose, my life goes on. But if Kansas, the, the big red Republican state, can elect a trans person to a state legislator. The doors open up in a lot of other places for people. We don't have favorites. Like, I'm a mom and I don't have a favorite child, but also, like, <laughs> you're our favorite legislator. You're our favorite legislator. Okay. It's Tom again. So, can we call it? Is it okay to call it now? So are you saying yes, go ahead and say something or no, keep it, keep it close for a while. Okay. How do I do that? They just, I, I mean, I've got a reporter right here. <laughs> hey, I won. Aside from the victory here of doing this, we managed to do this without anybody bringing up negative, negative stuff on the gender. And you know what? No outside group made it an issue either. I mean, that was one of the reasons for running was to make the world change. A trans person being put into office, it does bring that hope that gender will no longer be something that stands as a barrier to the successes that we need to make. Oh, it more than feels real. You don't have to feel.